Hey guys, what's going on? It's Funkin' Nerd here. Welcome back to another video. Hope everyone had an amazing day doing the shopping for the New York Comic Con Funko Pop and got what you guys wanted. Um, I got everything what I wanted for now. Um, I got stuff on Amazon, the Tony Stark with Infinity Gauntlet Glove, the Amazon New York Comic Con Funko Exclusive. Um, I also got uh, let's see, one, two, three, four New York Comic Con I got from the Hot Topic as well. And eBay Game did not bring their New York Comic Con Funko Pop. It being pushed back a little bit, so it was very, very disappointed in that. But they will bring some hopefully next week because I really want to get my hands on the Levitation Piccolo New York Comic Con and some of the My Hero Academia. But today I'm going to show you the Funko Pop I got today. And I'm going to show you something else beside the Funko Pop as well. So we're going to start off with the My Hero Academia. It is the Dabby. This is the New York Comic Con 2019. Really super awesome. Um, i never seen My Hero Academia. Like I have seen it on YouTube. And I figure I get this one. Why not? Because this one looks really, 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 really nice. I really like this one a lot. This is box number 637 Pop Animation. Dabby. I believe, yeah, Dabby. Um, I don't know too much about Dabby, so we're gonna open this. We're gonna open this one up real quick because I know this video is gonna be a little bit longer. So here is Dabby, and um, this is really, really, really nice, and looks so, so nice. So that's Dabby. I love the detail on this pop figure itself. The hair looks just really spot on. I love the hair as well. Um, the clothes right there that he has right now. I don't know what I'm talking about, but you know, you get the idea. The clothes that he has right there looks really, really spot on. I love the water effects here. I believe this is water here. And I have no idea what kind of uh, power he's using here. Like I said, i never seen My Hero Academia, but I heard good things about it but this pop looks really really amazing so I'm really happy that I got it really really nice and the next pop here that I got is Huntress I have no idea who this girl is but I got it anyway so this is box number 285 Huntress um, no idea who this girl is, but if you guys know who it is, let me know down in the comment. I do love the box art. I think uh, that looks really, really, really nice. So we're going to take this one out as well. So this is um, Huntress way right here. Really cool. I love the color. The purple looks really, really nice. You can see the purple right there. That looks so, so nice. The mask and everything, the, uh, the crossbow, if that's how you pronounce it. It looks really, really nice. I love the outfit. The outfit is looks really cool. Uh, not a bad pop, but I have no idea who she is or what she does. But if you guys know, let me know down in the comment. I really, really appreciate that. If not, that's totally cool. And this one does not come with a stand, so that's perfect. I hope it doesn't fall. Um, the other one is the ground, Evil Groundskeeper Willie. This is Tree House of Horror, number 824. Really super awesome. I'm so happy I got this one. This is uh, He's dressed up as Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. Really, really, really nice. All I need is Alien Maggie, which I need, and it still hasn't arrived yet. I don't know why, but I really need that. Um, so we're going to take this one outside of the box as well. Um, they had a whole bunch of Hot Topic. Um, none of it was really sold out at all. So here is Groundskeeper Willie. i got to put so much stuff here. Here is Groundskeeper Willie. Really super nice. I love the way how he looks. We can see the wake right there. Really, really, really nice. I love the Simpson. He should be obsessed watching the Simpson every single day. 
and I miss it so much. I wish I could watch it again if I had the channel for it. I love the outfit. We can see the Freddy Krueger style right here. It looks really, really nice. And we can take a nice closer look right there with the teeth and everything. So, so nice. They did an amazing job making this Funko. Um, we can see some uh, paint defect right here and on this hand right there, but not a big issue. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right there. Oh, well. And the last one I got, one of my favorite one. You guys know what it is. I'm pretty sure you guys know what it is. Oops. I almost... It is the Vegeta New York Comic Con Final Flash. Final Flash! And they did it with the other Vegeta Funko, like Batman Vegeta, Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Um, you know things like that, but it would be really, really nice if if it did say Final Flash Vegeta, but unfortunately it did not say that. Let's turn it to the side right here. This is box number six six nine. Thank goodness it didn't say six 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 because I would have freaked out. But this is six six nine. Really super awesome. I'm so happy I got this one. And we are gonna take this thing outside of the box. I can't wait to see this thing outside of the box. I'm so excited I got this one. This is one of my favorite scenes. This is like one of my other favorite scenes in Dragon Ball. He was fighting against Perfect Cell and doing his um, final flash against him. Look at this, guys. This is so, so cool. I really, really like this one a lot. I'm so, they had so many of these, a hot topic. It did not sold out. The hair is just really, really beautiful. That is so, so nice. Look at that. I love the um, the energy uh, effects that he's doing over here. This is really, really, really nice. And Funko did an amazing job making this thing. And you know, they did. The style of this uh, Final Flash Vegeta is just very, very spot on. You can see the Final Flash right there. It is so, so cool. Wow, I'm very, very impressed with this one. And now the other one is not a New York Comic Con one, but I'm so surprised to see this a hot topic. It is the Coca-Cola Polar Bear. Right here is the Coca-Cola Polar Bear, which is really super awesome. I can't believe it came a hot topic. Um, this is box number 58. And I love Coca-Cola, but I don't drink it as much now. Because Coca-Cola is bad for you. If you drink it a lot, there's so much sugar in it. But I love the polar bear, which is really, really cool. I love the box art. We got the big Coca-Cola logo here with the polar bear sitting there drinking the Coke. And we can see the Coca-Cola right there. We're going to take this thing outside of the box, of course, and see what it really looked like in person. So many pop guys. It's been like a ridiculous long day shopping. The sin is a little bit kind of heavy. But um, look at that guys. It is so, so cute. We got the uh, Coca-Cola scarf right there. Um, there it is, the Coca-Cola scarf. We got the cola drink. I don't know if you guys can get a good look at that. The detail on the Coca-Cola bottle is so amazing. We got the paws and the feet right there. It was just really super cute. I'm so happy I got this pop. And I think they should really make a flocked version of this, which would be really, really, really nice to see. Such an awesome looking pop. Now we're moving on to the figure itself. I got the Star Wars, um, this is the Star Wars Vintage Collection Luke Skywalker X-Wing Pilot. I got this at EB Games 
This is super, super awesome. I haven't collected any Star Wars in a very, very long time. So I decided to pick this one up and it looks really, really nice. I do love the figure itself. This is the, I believe this is the Return of a Jedi. I'm pretty sure it is. We got the Star Wars Vintage from Kenner that makes some very, very popular Star Wars figures. Here we have the back here, we can see everybody else. We have the new movie version, The Rise of Skywalker, and we have the old classic one right there. We can see everyone else. Really, really super nice. I'm so happy I got this one. Um, I am definitely not gonna be taking this thing outside of the box. I'm gonna keep it sealed. And yeah, I'm just super excited. I don't think I'm gonna get the whole series. I'm not too sure, I just wanna get the one I really, really want, especially Boba Fett right here. One of my favorite characters, Boba Fett. I really, really need him. And here come the four last big thing. My all time favorite movie as a grown up kid. Childhood memories. I'm so excited to show you guys. I am not gonna be taking this thing outside of the box. These are definitely gonna be sealed inside the box. It is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie version from uh, NECA figures. Now, NECA makes some really super amazing figure. They're very, very highly detailed. Um, I'm not too sure if I can get a really good look at this pop. Sorry, this figure. I know there's a lot of glare on this, but you can see the um, the figure itself right here. It looks so, so realistic. And it comes with a pizza. And I love the box art in the front right here, Donatello. Here is the side view. This is how it really looked like. It is so, so detailed. I'm so happy I got this one. You can see all the rest of the Ninja Turtles right here. And here are the pictures of Donatello. I am so, so happy I got this one. Um, this is one of my favorite childhood movies. Um, we have my all time favorite character is Michelangelo. He is my all time favorite one. Right there is Michelangelo. Same with the pizza. And he got the nunchucks right there. And this one comes with the big long stick. I forgot to show you guys that. Here at the back, we got all the uh, Ninja Turtles right there. Michelangelo. Like I said, I am definitely not going to be taking these things outside of the box. They're definitely being sealed. And here's another one, Leonardo. So, so awesome. I am just blushing my body away. Here we have the samurai sword, again with the pizza. Um, let's get another closer look at this. Really, really, really nice. Back again here. We got the Leonardo. There's this other side view. I feel like watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles again because it just brings back so much memory as a kid. And the last one here is Raphael. Really cool. We have the, uh, I don't know what these are called. I can't remember. But there again with the pizza. And another closer look of Raphael right there. I know it's a little bit blurry. But it's really, really hard to tell by these glare here. Here's the back cover again. And the side view, the other side view. Really super awesome. I can't believe I have all four of these. Just look at this, man. Like, it's, I'm just super happy. Um, these are very, very high demand. Um, they're very, very popular. And there it is. Look at these guys. Ho, 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 ho. Man, look at this. Holy smokes. I, I'm super happy, guys. I'm just very, very thrilled. It's been an amazing day. Um, I'm just very, very happy right now. I'm speechless. I still need to get the Piccolo New York Comic Con 2019 at EB Games. I need to get that. Um, there's some other orders, mail call orders that I'll be getting from Box Lunch and um, Toys of Us as well. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, comment, and like this video. Let me know what you guys think about this pops itself on uh, the Ninja Turtles and yeah see you guys next time